Now for the semi-final tomorrow. Oh, Shelly will lead the right hand. The last one still has to get the camera to the light. The first round of the rocket is really hard. The first round of the rocket brings you the best. Oh, Shelly will lead the last round of the rocket. The first round of the rocket brings you the best. Oh, Shelly will lead the last round of the rocket. The first round of the rocket brings you the best. Oh, Shelly will lead the last round of the rocket. The first round of the rocket brings you the best. Oh, Shelly will lead the last round of the rocket. The first round of the rocket brings you the best. Oh, Shelly will lead the last round of the rocket. The first round of the rocket. 只可惜，最后是走入歧途，毁掉了职业生涯。三。三。现在黑球右侧有一个红球形成牵制，导致无法进攻。所以奥沙利文利用粉球衔接，先把粉球周围好打的处理干净。Just working on the pink at the moment, until he can get rid of the red to the right of the black, which will only be one, maybe two shots away. If he gets a nice angle on the next pink, he'll play for that red on the black spot. Fifteen hasn't quite got it. So one more loose red, and then you play the next one. You can't always get on the ball you want to get on perfectly all the time. So he's having to work at it until he gets that angle. Twenty-one seems to have gone in and out of the zone this session, John. To me, he looked out of it in the first two frames, and all of a sudden he looked bouncy and sprightly. Then all of a sudden now he looks a little bit fed up again, Ronnie. It's so hard to get to the top of how he's feeling. Yes, well, the pot success, both at 90%, which is pretty good, we're in the eighth frame. Yeah, I, I got that feeling uh, in frame 28. six when he had a chance. Listen, he potted three reds, three blacks, and uh, he's obviously 29. maximum across his mind. And, and then when he didn't get it, he got a little bit petulant, and I don't know, maybe... You know, you shouldn't be thinking about maximums. You should be thinking about winning frames, and he's already got one. So he would have thought that to take now of his mind, but. Thirty-six. He just seems to think he can't get down in the right place at the moment. He just seems 42. totally frustrated with what's happening. Forty-three. This is the first big shot in this break because he's after it this clean. Yeah, good pot. As we said, this is the last frame of this mid-session interval. I'm sorry if this first session of eight frames. Fifty. There will be an interval after this, but they won't be coming back until tomorrow. So important that Ronnie levels the match. I'm a little bit surprised the scores are still level. I've got to be honest with you. I thought Ronnie was a, a hot favourite. Well, he was a hot favourite for this, but fair play to the young man. 61 ahead, 75 remaining. Red and the black would do. Oh, cued that beautifully. 57. <laughs> really played that well. So the black took a 69 points in front with only 67 left on the table. Brown and played him towards the green pocket. Now he's in that position. Well, decided to try and get on one at this end. He's going to have to hope it doesn't go in off. Now, I don't think we've seen Liang Wenbo in this tournament so far, John. 
where he needs a snooker. Be interesting to see if he could get, say, four reds and four colours. What he's like at playing snookers. Yes, at the moment, just one second. Right, right. That's the old more common wise thing, isn't it? It's warm in here today, you know. <laughs> and it tastes good. His idea is to put these three reds at this end of the table with three high colours after this pink and then play the snooker in behind the brown off that red up in the bulk area. All sounds very simple, doesn't it? Yeah, you can just afford one or maybe two pinks to just leave it at the one snooker required stage. It's half a chance. There you see, 62 Seven. behind, 59 remaining. So he needs blacks off these three reds to keep it at the one snooker to win. Another pink and it'd be one snooker Eight. to tie. Mm, don't think he's perfect on the black here. No, he just run a little bit too far to make it easy to get on those two reds near the cue ball. Straight, he'd have been okay. But he's just off straight. There you go, just off straight the wrong side. So he's one of those deep screws with lots of side here. Now, does the top one go to the left middle? And 15. if it does, can he still get position on the black? Or oh, they both go into the left middle? They both go. Sixteen. Well, so, I'll tell you what, we are out of this. After this black, another red and the black, and a snooker behind the brown off the last red. Doesn't look too difficult. This is where he's going to be really careful. He definitely needs the half ball line. That's where he wants to finish. Look on the ball line there. So it's just a straightforward stun. As long as the, the red is not cannon into the green when he plays it round, he's just got to find the position where he needs the cue ball. So it's a key to get the angle on the black to be able to get into that area he wants. Yeah, well, we, could, we, we know exactly, and, and he knows where he wants to be. But first of all, he needs to pot the red and get the nice angle on the black. Until he gets the angle on the black, he doesn't know where he's going to leave this cue ball. So he's made certain he's got an angle now. He can get to that circle. And if he gets to that circle, he's got an easy opportunity to play a, a snooker behind the brown. But he needed to. We get the action. He knocks this red in, it's frame over. And then he goes. And surely that will be end of another frame. So. Mid session interval after this, they played four, and it looks like Ronnie's won four. Nine. Seventeen. As usual, O'Sullivan has scored heavily when he's been in and uh, has also played 
mature match play snooker. 24. When he hasn't been right in. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. A few times, O'Sullivan has imploded at the crucible. But this year, he seems uh, very much in command of himself. 40. Still, 43. a lot can happen between now and uh, next Monday night before... Forty-eight. What a shot 50. that was! I know the frame's over, but the top spin he got on that to delight when he's queuing well. Fifty-three. Fifty-seven. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Fifty-seven. for blue or bought colour. Always knowing, of course, that if he wasn't right on them, the black was available. Now, just have a look at the situation. I think he's got to play the black here, Steve. Yeah, he's loath to play the black because position's not guaranteed, but it's also not guaranteed off the yellow. So this has got to be a good positional shot here. That looks nice. I'm sure one of those reds goes. Three. Well, he's got down quick, so he must have played it inch perfect. And he did. Four. Still got to be careful of positional play off a ball in the jaws of the pocket. Can always go wrong. The corner pocket, ideal position, perhaps available on the pink off the red into the right centre. Don't think the pink spot, so still some work to do. Twelve. Let's just see how he goes about this. Excellent shot. No spot for the pink and no other spots available, so I have to go as close to its own spot as it can in the direct line as we look back on that super positional shot from Ronnie. 18. Looking to see if the pink is possible. I don't know the black goes in the right corner. If he doesn't and he can't get on the pink, he's got a nice angle to go up for blue. Nineteen. Black certainly goes into left corner. And if the pink is possible. You'll be opening up the two reds as well, so every chance here for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Very rarely makes a positional mistake. An error at this stage. Just a fraction short of pace, possibly. Has he got to come back up for the blue? 
he wouldn't want to have gone away from the reds, making sure he's past the blue. Cue ball looked like it rolled off a bit as it went down the table. One of the reds, the left hand one, will definitely go into the left corner. 28. Maybe run a couple of inches too far, but he's nicely on it. When he pots this, he'd probably make the pink available, which he has done. 29. <coughs> Well, a lot of players would have made a lot harder work of this potential match-winning clearance. So far, so good for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Delighted to see this one go in. Thirty-six. Played it nicely. Now pot the black. Just a gentle cannon into the red, just to the right of the black. And couldn't have played it better. He's now got a two point lead. Has Liang Wenbo now played his last shot in this year's 888.com World Championship? It's looking likely. Yes, and uh, even though there's not 51 that tight a score line, Ronnie O'Sullivan will be 52. Have an early night ready for the semi finals. 59. 61. Just the green needed. 64. 23 points in front. Just 22 left on the table. 68. He's shown flashes of brilliance in this match as Ronnie. 73. And you just have thoughts now for the semi-final tomorrow. 79. When he plays seven times champion Stephen